be grateful for all compliments like that. <laughs> um, so l- let me start at the beginning. Royale Streamers, was the beginning of it or it used to be something else? Um, we we actually started as Twitch Royale. That was the original name. Uh, at some point, we changed to Royale Streamers because we wanted to integrate Mixer, and that would kind of just be awkward. Uh, oh, and yeah. Okay. Now we have arrived at Stream Royale, um, and the reason for that, we can go into more detail as we... One of the things we want to talk about tonight is our roadmap moving into the future and kind of what Royale Streamers is going to become, uh, how it's going to evolve. So... Uh, that kind of ties into Stream Royale, which not a thing we pushed forward in the last 24 hours. We, that actually came with the release of our website, uh, which was a few weeks ago, actually. It wasn't um, oh, okay. a couple days ago, which which I noticed uh, you saw it yesterday. So. Uh, yeah, I honestly did not know about it. <laughs> I just yeah. assumed it was like right after the Twitch thing. It would have been yeah. awesome timing. I'm not that fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? No, no, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so it's kind of evolved, and it's, I mean, including Mixer is a good idea, I guess. The, um, I'm sure the volume is less on that channel. That platform has its own problems, I think. Um, Absolutely. So, how would you describe, in your words, the general, like, this is the elevator pitch of what the community is, I guess I would say. How would we describe it? Yeah, like, if you had, if I was the, CEO of some brand or whatever, and I'm in an elevator and you guys walk in like, oh, we want to do business with that guy because he's awesome. How would you pitch the the platform and the community and the, um, I don't know, the workings of it or the benefits of it in like 15 seconds or whatever? Or like, Well, you know, there's there's two things. There's, there's two sides of um, our platform and our community, actually. Um, most of the... The pitch done, did, um, done to the potential client, for example, is is about what it can bring them. But the pitch, like what we bring to the community, is something different. Yeah, that's a good point. You're right. I should have worded so, that differently. So, so yeah, I, I guess how would yeah. you pitch that to the brand, I guess, to like a, a consumer commercial brand or an entity you want to do business with, with the community? Well, we talk about uh, who we are. Uh, which is, and I think you put it uh, well, it's a gamified networking platform. And we gamified the experience of being a streamer. Right. Um, it's something that we do and that we keep pushing forward. Uh, we have um, brought on the website the collaboration tool, which I think is pretty awesome, uh, where you can find people to collaborate with, literally. It, it matches you with other um members of uh, stream royale and and you can then um find people to play games together on stream Mm -hmm. so we always try to push that side of royale which is um make life easier for streamers because god knows it's not easy to be a streamer and there's a lot things there's a lot of things you need to do to succeed and um yeah we always push that forward I guess that goes to the um, hmm, that goes to the the point system of it, right? Like the the whole inner workings of it is, and 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 by the way, I looked at the. I mean, in one of the past videos, I think it was last Monday, this past Monday, I went through the beginning of the website and just sort of looked at the intro stuff, and I think it described it pretty well on what the system was. But excuse me, the um, so uh, people stream on the platform essentially, and they can earn points. Um, or I'm sorry, viewers can earn points if they're viewing or participating in another streamer's chat via. Um, let's back up a little bit. Okay. Also, just a note, uh, the information you read in that intro section, was that, uh, it was what? I'm sorry. That. You cut out on that. What was that? It, sorry. The, uh, info you read on that intro section yeah. on your video, that was actually outdated. Oh, um, okay. And fix that, uh, in another way. So. Here, I can uh, kind of put things into more of a historical point of view of like, yeah. kind of where we started and, and where we're going. So like when Royale first got started off, um, it was like I was looking for a way to kind of take the, and as you mentioned, like streamer communities have been around for a long time. Mm-hmm. I wanted to take the streamer community approach of, you know, everyone's supporting each other. Everyone's popping into people's channels. They're chatting. They're they're watching and if they walk away and they leave it up not a big deal like lurking lurking did not used to be this demonized thing and suddenly 
It is. Uh, right. It's kind of an, an overnight thing that happened because Twitch uh, spoke out about it. So that was like kind of where we started, right? Let's yeah. put accountability on um, the support that people are giving each other because they say they're doing it and they're not. It's observable. Like people are like, oh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm a, like, I've been supporting so many people, but they're, they're not. So what we did was we brought accountability to that and, and, and we furthered that by putting, you know, a, a gamified system around it and it worked very well. Um, and it's been mm -hmm. a challenge to keep it balanced as it's grown. Uh, and we ended up here today. So this is where we kind of put other, so that was like the core of it for, for right. a while. Okay. And we've been building up like verticals next to it, such as that collaboration service, such as um, starting your, like, we want to take, we want to move beyond that sure. and like gamify everything else when it comes to being a streamer. Yeah. So. It's, it's also one thing to keep in mind that uh, we've always, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I didn't, I uh, wasn't there day one uh, in Royale and I slowly got involved with the platform. Um, and uh, from, from my point of view or my perspective is we always capped the amount of lurks you can have on and i i know there's a lot of misinformation about how we do things but late lately it was eight lurks tops and uh we j we recently uh, a couple of weeks ago lowered it to four when we heard the news about twitch yeah as i was gonna ask is how was everything affected by um i forget what it was maybe earlier this week that twitch announced that stuff yeah, and we 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 saw some weird numbers on 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 some of our streamers' side, uh, mm. but also everybody got affected by the numbers. I mean, at some point there was zero views for a lot of people. That happened a couple of times, and that just tells I you. I remember like, that. Not, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not they were, you know, playing with the, the platform, doing stuff in the background, and we don't know exactly. Uh, we took a wild guess. We said, you know, we we need to lower the number of lurks, and we did, and. You know, I'll tell you something. Um, for us, Lurkin, as, as Raker said, we started with this, but we've always intended to not be just about that ever. Mm -hmm. You know, we wa always wanted to we want to bring value to streamers. That's really what we want. We want to bring value to streamers and value to our clients. And I, I definitely today want to talk about the monetization part of it because I think there's a lot of misinformation about, you know, who we are and what we do and people saying we're making money and I'd love to talk about this frankly because it's uh, on my sheet you <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely I, I, I awesome. bet. I bet. Get yeah, to there we go yeah um but but yeah but um I think it's uh it's been in the back of our head or our minds or heads to um not just lower the lurking but remove it altogether uh for a while and I think that lurking while valuable for streamers it's also not what we are about uh in, in the sense that if you watch my how to get started in royal streamers um one one i saw a clip from oreo side uh he, 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 he hears me say genuine support and he goes crazy about it right but that's yeah. sad because it's if you watch the whole video you can see the, what i'm talking about i'm trying to educate newcomers about what who we really are and i've always pushed and you, you can watch the ama vods and i've always pushed you know, genuine chatters, genuine engagements. That's that's where the real value is. And of course, anyone sure. can use the system or the tool or the platform the any way they want. Um, and at least try. Um, I mean, of course, if we've we've had abusers in the past, and we took like you know, uh, we don't we didn't allow that. But you know, basically, it's a tool. And you know, if you don't decide, not, if you decide to be uh, in genuine, then it's your bad. Like it's your it's your problem. I mean, you're not going to gain much from this at all. Like, you're going to gain empty views, and that's a fact. Um, I've I've built tremendous relationship in this platform, and I know a lot of people have, and that's only through genuine chatters and genuine engagement. And I've always said, don't look at the ranks. Go watch people. If you like what they what you see, spend time there. Meet like get to know them. And I've always pushed that, and that's why on this vi in the video how to get started, I keep saying, don't look at the ranks. Just chat genuine that's what you need to do and if people don't listen there's just only so much we can do frankly that's not that's that's, that's true the sad truth yeah you i mean you can't hold everybody's hand <laughs> that's, no exactly that's the, uh, yeah. what we're trying but i think we can do better in terms of educating uh newcomers but sure uh, you know 
So uh, yeah, but that being said, um, Ricker, is it a good time to announce anything right now? Well, I'm curious what he's gonna ask next. Sure, I have like a list of fifty things. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> I, I um, we'll through all of them. Okay, so uh, one of them, which is um, I think sort of the crux of how everything works. And I think there's been, I, I don't know a, a, enough about the system to speak intelligently about it, but there's a, a you sign up and there's a bot. And the bot, I, as far as I understand, it comes into your Twitch channel and it tracks a, a bunch of different things. Maybe um, the chatting of members is, is how I understand it. I think we, I talked about that on the show on Monday. Um, I think the bot is like the crucial point of it because that's how you track points, which makes sense. I don't think there's any other way to track points without that. Um, there's a lot of uh, either confusion or misinformation about how the bot works, what it tracks. Um, if you could just explain that, I think that would be perfect. Just sort of how the bot works, what it does, what it's looking at, that kind of stuff. Raker will be the best one. To sure. That. Yeah. So um, the two <clears throat> things that it needs to know basically is like, are you viewing a channel? Um, which it doesn't. I'll admittedly say it doesn't do particularly well due to limitations, mm -hmm. um, but it does the best that it can. And it just checks if you're in the chat list, basically. That's how it can tell if, if you're in a channel. Uh, and the other thing that it needs to know is um, who's chatting in a channel. So uh, that's just the chat feed that you'll see here on your own channel. Uh, and the reason that is because we reward disproportionately more for someone who's being active and engaging a streamer, sure. which actually I think is something we haven't brought up yet. Um, like it's worth 10 times more. So mm. to say we're a lurking community, uh, I think at best you could say we're one tenth a lurking community and nine tenths a chatting community. I mean, that's just easy math for me. I think uh, I did see that on the so, intro page, like the difference in points. It was like yeah. you get five points for every minute yeah. if you're lurking and then like 500 or whatever. Yeah. for something if, like you're, if you're just if you're just lurking in our community, you're not going to go very far uh, in terms of like actually earning points. Like it's also in terms sure. of gaining anything genuine. Yeah, that as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those are the two things. Those are the two main things the bot needs to know. Um, when you first show up in our Discord, what you do is you, you do exclamation mark Twitch, uh, and what that does is it, it just uh, queries the the Twitch API to make sure you're an actual Twitch channel, so we don't have like fake accounts. Right. Um, uh, and, and beyond that, like that's kind of the the very central axis upon which the, the bot works, and that's that's the main thing it does. Uh, if you want to talk about the website, now that thing that uses different um, uh, data sources and whatnot. Okay. Would you like to go into that or um, maybe in a? Uh, let me see here. Do you know so what's unrelated to like our point system? Right. So let me ask you, um, since I don't know enough about it, I'm assuming you do because um, you've created bots. One of the questions that I got from a friend was. Specifically, I'm going to read it word for word because I don't know enough about it. Do data scraping bots, and I'm assuming that's referring to a Royale streamer bot, uh, comply with GDRP, or maybe that's GDPR? I don't, I don't know which. Yeah, GDPR. Uh, one, it's not a data scraping bot because it's using data provided by Twitch. These are endpoints that are perfectly fine to use. The Streamlabs chatbot uses all the same stuff. Second of all, GDPR's, GDPR does not come into... Uh, effect there because it's all public information there's no private identifiable information mm. okay I, no as i said I, information I for for the record there's absolutely no yeah, we're just gonna go into that after. information yeah um the the claim that we're selling data uh i mean that one is probably the most outlandish claim i heard yeah because it, it first of all it's all public data uh provided by the Twitch API, which is available to everyone else. And two, if we tried to do that, Twitch would sue us into the ground. So uh, we're not earning and, money from and, and, and three, that's not, not our purpose at all. We want to bring value to streamers. We don't want to sell their data. That's absolutely ludicrous. Okay, let me go on to the second part of that question. Sure. Are you recording and storing data of people who did not sign up. How about that one? No. Now, I assume that might mean, that might reference the Discord bot. Maybe. Maybe that's different than the one that sits in your channel. Um, now I'm confused because the question kind of shifted. Mid yeah. Midway. So, um, okay. Let's talk about the uh, Discord situation then. So, 
there was uh, screenshots and all the stuff that went out online. And there was like uh, some system where you mark other services, competing services or servers or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And then there was um, the uh, alleged or accusation that um, you're tracking people where they move on different servers if they sign up for the program uh, via Discord or if they're a part of Royale. Um, is there? Can you explain that a little bit, how that works? With I, the I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. Um, there's two things. One, there was uh, Trouble Truck said that we were, we were tracking what people were saying on Discord, which is completely false. We have absolutely no record and no database that tracks what people say. Um, I mean, we obviously on our Discord, we, we can read what they say, but anything outside of it, yeah. absolutely no no data about that whatsoever. We and don't even have permissions to do that. No, not even the permissions. It's not. And on to- and the, the comp- uh, competitor thing, the only reason we have this is not to keep track like Big Brother on our members. The only reason is that two times... We've been, like other communities, uh, copycat communities, have come and poached our members in Mm. mass. And we wanted to be aware of that uh, when it happens. And that's the only reason that we've installed these, like, codes, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's, It's to be aware of when poaching happens. And it didn't happen, frankly, so we're we're just going to get rid of it because it didn't happen since we've installed it but there's no other purposes than than that there's no other reasons why we we installed this we really don't frankly we're two guys running this and that's that's for full-time jobs right and we don't have time to track everyone we don't have we don't care about this it's not it's not a purpose the purpose again is to bring value to streamers that's the bottom line so um there was uh i forget who i was talking to exactly it doesn't matter um that was concerned that chatting in a different server and uh, like talking accusatorily of uh, Royale streamers or besmirching them or whatever language you want to use would cause them to get banned or punished or targeted. Uh, that was a, an accusation I saw earlier. That's not a question that was sent to me. I just remember seeing that. What is, um, I mean, I, I guess what's your take on that? I mean, targeting people that are talking bad about Royale streamers when they're in a different server. If you're not checking the data, I mean... I don't. I don't even know well, how to pose that as a question. It's well. Well, let me tell you something. A lot of members are in many different communities. Sure. So that's how I can imagine someone coming back to our mods. Uh, by the way, we just, you know, did a refresh on the mod team on our end uh, for men, for different reasons that are not is not related <coughs> at all to the different uh, discussions we, we that were happening recently. But um, I can't talk about what the mod did in the in the past. Um, yeah. I, I myself not aware of anything we would have done to people talking on other discords and the only, only reason it would be brought up to our community is if another member or one of our members is in another community and comes in general chat on our, on our discord and says oh someone said this but uh, talking about like retaliation I've heard this a lot like oh fear of retaliation I'm always open to discussion I've had discussions with people coming in our stream or on our discord sorry and like bashing us and uh and i went on and talked 30 minutes 45 minutes with them Mm -hmm. in dms and private dms and you know talked and just try to understand where they're coming from and sure have a you know constructive um discussion i'm all about that anyone can call me and dm me um i'm i'm all about this know so there's no retaliation we don't we're not like we're not like that we don't we don't we i'm, I'm open to a discussion that's why we were here tonight like you you made a, a video that's you know criticizing some of the stuff and i like that i'm open to it that's why we're here tonight we're not retaliating you, you know what I mean? like <laughs> yeah. we're not you know, right. we're here you know so yeah and if <laughs> The the video they're referring to is something that I put out on Monday, which was I I wasn't speaking highly of Royale streamers. I was no. speaking about a different topic. I was I was yeah yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but um, anyways, um, okay. So I think that I mean that sort of answers the uh, a little bit in my opinion. The mail on, you know, are you guys following people to different servers and and banning them if they say anything bad about it? Now I'm sure that yeah. other people can go. Well, that's why I was banned, and you guys can say that's not why you were banned. And and then it's you know, 
is it just he said she said stuff and that's tough to like how do you sort that out how do you put blame on that so it's a little bit weird um <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about okay i think we got these three let's talk a little bit about funding because you were talking a little bit about a couple of things one you mentioned hey this is our full-time job just running this community and this bot and i'm sure and the website the new website i'm sure there's a lot more work with that um mm -hmm. <clears throat> not only like administration and, and moderation uh, if it's a full-time job, I would assume the, I mean, you guys look like you're reasonably alive and healthy, like you've eaten and things like that. So yeah, you know, life requires some kind of income. How, how basically, I think there was some comment that I saw online where it was, um, well, we don't earn any money from this. And then uh, you guys are saying that it's full time. So how do, I'm not sure how that matches up exactly. Can you explain that well, a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 can, I can. I can go. Mm, I'll go do your first. side. All right, you go first then. <laughs> well, I, for me, it's uh, I haven't made a penny from Morale. Um, not 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 one penny. I haven't transferred. We've been we've been existing for a year. Um, we became a company um, in March, and. Um, and the reason why we made a company is because we wanted to pay ourselves at some point because we're putting over, well over 40 hours a, a week. I think Raker puts even more than me. Uh, 40 in this. hours is a and joke. What's that? Well over 40. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I know how it goes in software development in general. So if that's anything like it, then I get it. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and we haven't paid each other. I'm, I, not not me, not him. One penny. Not one. And And... Uh, the, the way I've been able to survive uh, is because I do stuff. I, I, I had a, a business before. I'm closing it down. Um, I've had a business for eight years and didn't, I mean, I made some money while I was doing it, but I'm not a millionaire. Definitely not. And I'm actually um, selling some of my collection. I have a, you don't see it, but I have a big collection of retro video games and I'm actually selling my stuff right now. To make ends meet. Got some people uh, that might be real. interested. You let me know. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, I had a few people from my stream that uh, bought some of the stuff. And yeah. it, it helps out. And uh, I'm still doing some little things like as a freelancer, consul consultant um, uh, on the side. And uh, that helps me. But I'm frankly, I'm struggling for money right now. It's it's very difficult. Um, Which is really common on the Twitch platform in general. <laughs> like all streamers. So. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but I, I think it's fair to pay ourselves um at just to be able to survive to, to live and, and and do this because it, it requires a lot of work and 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 just running the bot um just running the system i cost over 500 dollars a month alone like it's not huge money for a comp for a big company but like when it's coming out of our pockets yeah it's yeah it's expensive yeah i get it's it. expensive yeah you know? and we never asked like I think we, we we at one point we were struggling several months back, and we asked our community if they wanted to support and do donations. We received a, a, few, a few dollars there, uh, maybe a few hundred dollars or something, which we really appreciate. Sure. Um, but and at the time we were not doing business at all, um, and uh, yeah, and the, the, the we can talk. I'll let Raker talk about his side, um, but uh, we can talk about our clients and what we do and why don't we have any money right now mm -hmm. uh, if we had clients in the past or still do. So on my end, I've been doing this for about a year now. And the quick answer is that I've just been bleeding out money for about 12 months now. Um, I, before Xavier was around, we didn't have sponsorship deals for the first, I don't know, six months. And I was basically footing the bill for, for the bot costs for that entire duration. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I think the financial topic really struck a nerve with me because like it's put a lot of stress on my personal life. Um, my girlfriend's not very happy about, you know, making <laughs> I bet. All this yeah. money on this stuff. Yeah. And, but like, to me, it's worth it to me. I want to build this into a business sure. and I didn't, I didn't want to take any shortcuts along the way. So that means I didn't want to like, I, I noticed yesterday you mentioned that, um, like, they must be monetizing somehow, right? Like people being able to buy their way through the system. Uh, I, I theorize that a, maybe there could be something like that because I wanted to. I wanted to try it. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. There's never been anything like that. Um, there's been a lot of people who have DM me and tried. Uh, I think I've had offers in like the thousands to buy diamond, and yeah. I just I said no. Like that's first of all, it would completely destroy the integrity of the community, and it'd be super short sighted. That's true. And I want to. I want to build something that's much bigger than that. 
regardless of what it looks like at the end. So I'm not going to choose that shortcut. Um, and right. Okay. It'd be, it'd be a poor decision. Yeah, we, we have we, we don't put ourselves um, like we want to make like have a, uh, a salary at some point. But sure. I mean, we, we're not taking advantage. Uh, I'm 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 standing at 30 subs, man. Like I'm not. I, we could we could be like, hey guys, you sub to us. We you get this. You get <laughs> yeah, that. You get right. That. Yeah. I'd, I'd be sitting at 200 subs. Right. I might be Twitch partner. I'm not even Twitch. You know what I mean? We're not taking. We're not in it for ourselves we're in it for the big like we want to build something and yeah we want to be part of it and yeah, we want to be paid doing it because we put in the, the time mm -hmm. but we're i think we're in it for the right reasons which is to help streamers so uh, line. right and uh, okay so you mentioned that you know oftentimes the um or, or overall the bot costs about 500 dollars a month to run and if that's like that it cannot be possibly sustainable if you are earning nothing from this. So sure. I guess a, a, a follow-up question sort of leading into that is the community, as we've seen with other large communities, is worth something to sponsorships and to commercial entities, sure. game developers, publishers, something yeah. like that. So yeah. how do you... Um, are you approaching them? Are you chatting with them about how to maybe monetize or, or in, in this could be in a couple different ways. So you could, you know, bring in sponsorships like, Hey, you give us some, some money and then we will redistribute some of it to the campaign people that we choose from our community. I've seen that happen before. It could be, um, I guess that's a leading question. I don't want to give away answers or anything. So why don't you no, guys no, go no, ahead and explain no. that? Yeah. Well, the, the, we've done different things with, uh, different communities. Uh, we've done, um, game promotion, uh, on the community and some of them we haven't been paid for some of them we have been paid for. And, um, if not most, if not all of them, most of them, we gave back to the community in so, some ways. Um, and, uh, the, uh, we did awesome giveaways. We gave away, you know, graphics card 2080, Mm. Uh, graphics card. We gave out a SM7B. Your mic, my mic. Uh, oh, I love this mic. mic. Yeah, we, we've give, given away uh, a lot of stuff to to a lot of uh, you know members, and, and and the the money that we made was reinvested in the company. Um, always, like I said, we haven't given a penny. The thing we we've done with the money on top of reinvesting in terms of like, for example, building the website, um, getting some design done, and things like that. Sure. Uh, we um, we've reinvested in uh, paying for our trip to PAX uh, West, uh, to TwitchCon, to represent the community, to try to meet with other companies, to uh, work with our streamers. Um, the goal is to, like streamers, they're looking for new games to play. They're looking for new experiences, new sponsorship, and we try to like, sure. make that easier for them. And and that's the the. the the way we want to go about it. We just recently did a Harry's sponsorship and we're giving away... Um, what is Harry's? Uh, razors. Oh, oh yeah, duh. Okay, I got it. Yeah. And we actually uh, are, are, are giving away... I think Turbo Truck's numbers are really false. I don't know where he got any of that yeah. from, but it's, that's entirely it's... made up. What yeah, are we we're giving about? away? Oh, I don't. I don't, I don't well, because he was... <laughs> you, you, you got some... I don't know. I don't think he's very strong at math, but that's... Uh, well, I, I just, I okay. So let let me. Um, I'm I'm super happy you guys are on the show and chatting and, and pretty openly, as far as I can tell, for for now, has answered a lot of questions of mine. Um, Trouble Truck, I consider also a friend of mine, and sure. like, so he has his opinion, and you guys have your opinion, and I'm just sort of like trying to give everyone. I'm, sides I have nothing talk. against. I have so, nothing. I'm, I'm I'm just saying. Right. You threw some some weird numbers out. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Uh, because it didn't add up. For right. Me. Uh, he got some right. He got some wrong. Uh, he did say we were giving away fifty dollars to our premier members uh, for the for the the sponsorship, and he also also uh, said that at the end we gave away three hundred dollars to our whole community. But if you do the math, our premier members were about thirty to forty people. Sure. Uh, and and we also opened it to the whole community and given more money that way. So. I, I think, think I was, read that. Okay, yeah, I, I, yeah, so I, I did. I'm I did just saying, that, yeah. like the three hundred dollar thing is really wrong um, by a, by a, by a margin of about ten times, I would say. So, um, so I'm just saying that yeah. you know, for example, for the Harrys, uh, we uh, we gave a, we were giving away about 
I'd say 75 to 85 percent of the what the revenue we're making. Um, the rest of the revenue goes to, you know, the, the time that we are um, spending getting the deal done, basically, uh, and and try to sure. we can probably reinvest it uh, some ways or another um, in the community. So, um, okay, so here's a question, and this is something that we, uh, th there's a community that I started a, a, a while ago, so it's much smaller than anything like um, Royale streamers or Twitchkins or any, any of the large communities. And, yeah. and, but one of the tenets of it was, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to have an open accounting of everything that comes in and out of the group. So any money that comes in via um, like merch stuff or uh, campaigns or anything like that, I, I personally will um, uh, record that into an Excel sheet and have an accounting that's available to any of the members to look at. And they can also audit the uh, PayPal account to sort of see what's happening there. Now, that's not the perfect system. Obviously, you could have like, oh, put the money in my pocket and then I'll pretend like nothing went into that community. But that I think is a way to keep stuff like uh, kind of open and sort of above board where there can really, at that point, be no real accusation of, hey, this person's probably stealing money. The problem comes in when we're not transparent about funding. And Wait, okay. who's stealing money though? What's that? Who's, who's stealing money? No, no one. I'm, it's a hypothetical. I'm right. saying that someone could be stealing money is what I'm saying. Right. But, but we're, we're a company and yeah. like, why don't you ask stream labs what their accounting is? You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's the same, it's the same idea. The fact sure. is that we're, we're transitioning from a community for, from only a community to a community that has a platform and, and the transparency of the accounting, I don't think it's really relevant with a community of 20,000 members. Um, I think what's important is what is the value we bring to our streamers when streamers get free games just for being a member, get money for a sponsorship they would probably not get if we weren't there. Right. Um, yeah. And that's, and that's definitely that's, worth that's, something. That's very I agree valuable. with you. Yeah, I, I totally know? agree. That's worth something and, and getting sort of connected to different businesses or something like that is absolutely worth yeah. something. I, I'm that's saying cool. that. And, and this is actually in, uh, uh, one of the reasons why the community that I started was started is because of the issue where the financial aspect of it was not transparent at all. And it was not uh, clear to me what was happening behind the scenes. So we started something else. And uh, I'm, I'm not saying that you need to do that. That's not what I'm saying. What, what mm -hmm. I'm saying is that can basically pull like the shroud off of that and make it super open. Like, hey, you could just look. This is how much is in the account, something like that it's to go into accounting um it's something that not many people understands and i myself i'm not the strongest at accounting i've been in business for eight years in my previous businesses accounting is not my strong suit and i don't think like showing people what we do with the money would make much sense but what i again what i think does is to bring high value for free um and um that's that's the yeah. bottom line for me and 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 i i I get it. So, uh, yeah, communities like that need to provide a service for their for their members, and 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 that's why that your statement to the funding is we're providing something for free. That's of value. That's where some of this funding is going. I think is what you're saying essentially. Well, I mean, that's where all of the funding is going. Well, I mean, except for the Discord it has bot. been for the last year. Yeah, but the Discord uh, bot, I guess, also well, or sorry, the bot in general is encompassed yeah. into providing uh, content. <laughs> For, Hopefully, yeah. well, we yeah. can't run promotions without the bot because right. that's what allows us to provide the like distribute the keys to the members yeah, and then also everything. follow up with the statistics to provide to the sponsors of this is how the promotion went. Mm -hmm. So and hopefully we can uh, we pay ourselves a salary at some point because frankly, we have to. We can't. I, mm -hmm. I have so, just so many games I can sell in the back. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 the reality. It's we 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 right. What um, okay. We'll we'll pivot away from that a little bit. What about um, your reaction or not your reaction? Uh, industry reactions to the community. Like if you go up to an industry partner at TwitchCon, let's say, and you say, "Hey, uh, I'm uh, Raker or or Xavier from uh, Royale Streamers," and you're trying to speak to them, sort of about doing business. Have you have you? I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not insulting you by saying this. I'm saying like, do you get a negative reaction when you first say, hey, I'm 
you know, so and so from Royale Streamers? No, absolutely not. No. Uh, we built we built some very strong relationship with uh, many companies. Um, yeah, it's very positive. Actually, a lot of people like what we do. Um, like I said, I think uh, a lot of people on Twitter and on Twitch focus a lot about. And I'm I'm watching chat a little bit in the corner of my eye, and I see a lot of previews and. and uh, Oh, just don't we're pay talking attention about to the lurking a lot. Like no, but that's that, that that's <laughs> fine. But but we were so much more than that, yeah. and um, we can we can help companies and streamers. Um, it's like we're like a matching system basically because we what we want is to give our streamers great opportunities to elevate their stream, get better at streaming, um, gamify that aspect of streaming, help them remember to tweet about their day. Sure. On a regular basis. Which is what uh, something help- every community does, I think. Or uh, communities are trying to help their streamers sort of, I hate the term grow. Streamers are trying to watch their, you know, oh, yeah, are trying yeah, to yeah, bo- sure, you know, sure. help their people be, grow. Be consistent, you know, like do, do, what, do whatever you can to, to, to help <clears throat> yourself grow. I mean, we don't have control about the growth, but, yeah, um, you know, we can only do what they think is right. And, and, and it's the same for the clients, you know. Um, they're looking for specific influencers and we can help. Sure. Match them if it, if there's value for both parties. We've had we've had uh, opportunities to do things just for the money, and that would not bring value to our streamers. We it's I want to I want to I want to make that clear. We've refused deals because the games that, for example, were pitched to us by sure. companies were trash. Okay. I'm just gonna say it. I'm not gonna say names, but I'll tell you they were trash. And we said no. There was money involved. We could have taken that money, but we were. No, uh, we don't yeah. want some trash games for our members. We don't want to incentivize them to play trash games. We want to give them a lot of value. We want that. Yeah. When we bring a game to our streamers or a product or something, it's high value for them. They see it as like, yeah, that was, I mean, some of the games, they were, they didn't know. Some of our streamers didn't know about them, and they ended up playing like 40 hours of it because hmm. they fall in love because it was a great game. You know, we decided that this game, you know, fits with our mentality of high quality uh, stuff all through like throughout you know so yeah we can focus on the lurking and we can focus on all, all that but frankly that's that's the past because the future is is not about it's not about the lurk and well um, n- not anymore according to twitch right <laughs> we're not doing that it's not there, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be honest with you it's, it's something we've discussed yeah for a long time um raker and i um it, it's it's been in, in our minds about six months if not more frankly it's always been there it's always thinking about you know is it really bringing value um sure with the perception of someone going in a stream having a hundred viewers and having two chatters yeah it is doesn't it really look great. bring in value yeah. yeah you know is 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 it really sending the right message to newcomers sure it's not value to uh business partners either i presume yeah absolutely no yeah. but sure i mean but that's all this sure it's just the whole you know lurking it's it, we're never been about lurking it's been part of our system but we've always been about networking right we've always been the the goal but sure we the- had a bunch of different people people that have seen it understood some others that have not and may never understand the value of networking um it's our goal to educate as much as we can but like i said uh it's such an overloaded term. I hate the term networking. <laughs> it's so crazy. I hate it. Yeah, but it's important. I mean, what do you yeah. do at, when you go to TwitchCon, right? You you try to meet other streamers. You, yeah, you, shaking you hands is networking. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, and it's I've I've found personally like a lot of people on my stream are from Royale and sure they I I would quit Royale tomorrow. You know, Royale would close. I know they would be there, no matter what. So and Please it's don't. all thanks to Royale. <laughs> And, and it's the same for them. Like, I mean, I've I've found awesome people to watch and and spend time with in Royale, and and I, I know a lot of people in the community feel that way. But that's because they, I think they they get it. They get the the networking aspect of the community, and 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 they, they're really gonna gain the most out of it. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah, man. You like you? I wish you were at our our party that we threw at TwitchCon. Like. Just the way that people were interacting with each other, and it's like you know these these people that you've been seeing online forever, and are all part of this community. Like it was a great atmosphere, and it was it was good that 
just to see it all happen and unfold. So to say that there's no genuine connections between any of our members, I think is just silly. And you would have thought that easily if you'd Sure. Attended and, and I would totally agree with that. I, I think that's a, a ridiculous accusation to say that it's some zombie network that people don't interact with each other. Because I mean, even if it, I, I talked about this at length, like for hours the other day, but basically like someone's in your chat that, that's, you know, is chatting with you and getting to know you. That's a genuine connection. It doesn't matter how they got there necessarily. It can become a genuine connection. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. So uh, j- just can real I- quick, since you mentioned the TwitchCon thing. Um, there was some. Yeah. There's something I saw. I don't have a specific question about it, but um, something I saw that was basically like, uh, and this is going back to the funding maybe a little bit. So I apologize because I said we were getting away with that. But it's like, oh, they don't make any money. But how do they throw in TwitchCon parties? Uh, we want to do something nice for our members. That's all. Yeah. That's it was all. a great time. Um, it, was a, it was a stupid thing to do financially. <laughs> I, I promise you that. Very, very stupid to do. And the tab went up way too fast. But we. we <laughs> We just wanted to to do something for our, for our members. I, I I thought it was awesome to have every, everyone there. We, we felt like it was the perfect opportunity to give even a little bit more back then. Yeah. Uh, at the time, and and we did we did that stupid thing, which was awesome, but it was stupid. But I don't regret it for a second. No, not even a minute. Yeah, and I I understand that. That was me at the last TwitchCon. I I didn't go this year. I had my own qualms with TwitchCon, but um mm. that um. Yeah, so I, I understand how that tab goes up pretty quickly. <laughs> um, what about the, uh, I, I saw something else, and, and this is all going back. Uh, some of this is taken from uh, my friend uh, Trouble Truck's uh, post or his video. Some of it's from some of the comments, so it's, you know, from all over the place. But um, there was some accusation of point system favoritism where it's like, oh, well, their friends are gifted points. And, uh, you know, it's only the people that they like are, are I guess, are, I don't know given bonus points or whatever it is. I'd like to steal this one. Okay. Yeah. So, so, uh, that's an interesting take. No one has been giving each other, like all the points that are being distributed by the system, they're all being logged, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, whether they knew that or not, uh, I don't know. But recently there was one case in the history of Mm Royale where a moderator was, giving points to someone close to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were able to catch it. And if you look at our announcements page, you'll see that we kind of squashed down on that very recently. Now, outside of that one instance, which was caught very quickly because of our auditing system, there's been no instances of that. There's like, we take integrity pretty seriously uh, at like the administration level. And right. we do our best to kind of squash those things out. So which is, um, yeah. I'm not really sure where that accusation came from. Um, but like, we're pretty public about like how we went about solving that problem. And we're, as Xavier mentioned earlier, we're in the process of kind of rebuilding our moderation team yep. as a result of that. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, trust for me is everything. And I personally wouldn't even know how to do it myself. Um, and I know Raker wouldn't do that, but we, the, the, the one person that did it uh, was, we, we, we found out who it was and it was um handled yeah. great yeah i mean that was just something that i had on the side where it's like i don't have a follow-up point to it it was just more sort of a question like is that sort of thing happening it sounds like it happened once you took care of it and i do like the the fact that there's a log system now what uh, what i'll say is not what i expect uh but Hey, let's release those logs to the public. That's not required. I'm just saying, is that you know someone might ask you something like that? Is that something you're open to? Well, I mean, it's something. I, I, I wouldn't uh, want the name of the person out there. It's just I don't think it's necessary. Uh, well, but. there's another reason. Um, as part of our, as, as I said, we really incentivize chatting, and it's the it's like one of the it's basically the main way it's engaging with other streamers to earn points. Um, and Trouble Truck actually talks about this a little bit. Like we have an algorithm that determines kind of at like a superficial level of filtering out like a couple edge cases of things that are considered ingenuine. Sure. Um, such as like saying the same thing again and again just because you're trying to earn points. Like we have yeah. an algorithm that will detect that and it'll discount you for earning points. The at algorithm needs for the purposes of the system can't be revealed. Uh, people can try to game it, but they will try to game it. So, you know, we don't reveal that algorithm right uh, if we reveal point logs and then people would be able to basically debug the way that that it works um which makes sense we actually have yeah. okay uh 
we were very fortunate to have a machine learning guy, um, a graduate student in RAL, and uh, we're working together on building a machine learning version that cannot be gamed. Uh, so that might be something that might roll out soon. And that sounds when that releases, interesting. We can show you how how many points you're earning because good luck trying to beat that. <laughs> so and and and. Uh... And by the way, that that's a great answer. Um, Twitch adjusts all the time how they rank chat, right? How they allow uh, viewers to go up and down. And like they just announced a new thing. Like you can only lurk two channels or five channels or whatever the hell it is. So yep. they did say a few. And we sort of talked about it uh, earlier this week that you can never really tell people how many. Because as soon as you put an actual number on it, then you start to cheat the system, basically. Um which is, I think, what you're talking about. We can't really release the source code behind it because then people will cheat it. Um, so I, I, I think that logic, that makes sense to me. Um, I, I do like the comment about the genuineness of chat. And th this is something that uh, uh, Trucks brought up as well. And uh, I think he showed a screenshot of like the bot or something. But it was like um, some kind of system where it would rank genuine chat versus, um, I forget what the name was, artificial chat or, or artificial interaction or something like that. Um, how, how does that work? It's just our stats command okay. that shows. Uh, as I said, like there's you can't really reveal filters. too many details, but yeah. No, that's fine. There's okay. certain filters that we put in place. Um, that like if it detects this certain thing in the chat string, then it'll be discounted. And it's not that you lose points; it's that it it's almost as if the bot never saw it. So if you do an ingenuine message and then genuine message, then you're fine. But if you're just you know, spitting out crap in a channel, you're not going to get anywhere. Uh, you, you know, we don't reward that kind of behavior. That's that's right. not what we want to push forward. Yeah, again, we're pushing networking. I know you don't like the word, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're pushing making friends. No, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. It, it's a it. There's you know the system's not perfect, but right. I'll tell you one thing: you can't say we're not doing is working our ass off and always bringing new features and trying to optimize everything uh on the platform sure. all the time and that's that's we've all not because of twitch telling us things because our members are telling us things because other people outside the community are you know respectfully saying things you know of course when we hear just bashing we're not as open to listening but that's why you know again we're here tonight just to talk with you and and, and have a constructive i think sure yeah conversation. it's been great and, and we're always you know working towards making it better we've done that since day one right and we're never going to be satisfied with the state of the community uh, or the platform it's just the way we are raker and i and we're we work all the time to make it better uh so uh, sort of in that same vein on the on the the idea of something that is artificial interaction you're saying like um and, and sort of your bot detects like oh you can't just spam the same hi how are you message over and over and over again because i assume the bot will pick up on that and disqualify you for points or uh, take points away or whatever it is um there are some people in the community that will say well royale streamers in general as a service is is artificial interaction it's inflationary it's whatever um I, I'm not going to lead that at all. I would love to hear sort of your response to something like that. Well, I'll say so. um, that it's not artificial. It's real people. Whatever they're doing, um, they're clicking the link to lurk someone or they're chatting in someone's chat. There's no bots and there's no, there's nothing that, you know, actually, uh, Trouble Truck brought like an, uh, sorry, Raker, I'm going there. But brought up a a message, uh, Raker talking about the bots and whatnot, and uh, there's never been any view botting in Royale ever, and also there we actually took um, uh, actions very strongly against Royale members mm -hmm. that view botted, not because they were in Royale, just because they're streamers, right? Yeah. Um, but that were in Royale and were view botting, we took we they were banned basically um, from the community, and mm. we've never. Yep allowed that on the community at all so every lurk is a person clicking the link to someone else they decided to click that link they were not forced to click that link um they were told by many people including myself that you should you know be on like streams that you want to be uh, uh, sure not 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 because they're diamond or platinum or whatnot mm -hmm. um, some people listen some people don't some people don't understand the value of finding people you actually care about uh, that you can build a connection with but um 
I don't think uh, saying it's artificial is is absolutely it's 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 wrong. It's it's not artificial. You can sell your things. You can say it's is it inflated numbers? I mean, it's it's a lot of lurks. It's a lot of lurks which we lowered and we have been thinking about removing the lurks altogether over time. Um, sure. I think it's fair to to announce it now, Rick. That. Lurks are gone. Yeah, lurks are gone. We're, we're removing the lurks. Um, oh, I'm saying it right now. We're, we're yeah. we've been we've been thinking about it for six months, honestly, on and off, and just like, what do we do with lurking? And yeah, well, now's the time, I think. Uh, and 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 frankly, it's not because of the bashing or whatnot. Uh, it's certainly to protect our members from from Twitch. Right. Sure. Yeah, they seem like they're getting uh, pretty serious about that stuff. Yeah, and, mm. and, and, and that's fair, and that's not what we're about. We're, yeah. we're, we want interaction, and we want our members to find other people to interact with and build connections with. And I don't think that's with lurks that you do that. I think that's with chatting, and that's with being interested in, in the people that you engage with. Uh, not, not saying just random shit that you don't really care about. Like, he's playing Fortnite. I don't like Fortnite, but I'll just chat because GG's and you know, nice <laughs> shot and, and never come back. You know, that's that's not what it is. Yeah. You no, know, it's you, you you like you spend a minute or two, okay, seems interesting, continue to watch, engage, get to know the person. If you like it, you'll be back. I guarantee you that. You know, that's the way it is, but you got to got to be genuine. Like if you don't like what you're seeing, regardless of the rank, get out of there. It's sure. it's not there's no value. There's absolutely no value in watching someone and engaging with someone that you don't care about. It's like having a conversation at a party with someone you don't give a shit about. <laughs> right. Like you're never yeah. gonna talk to them again. You're wasting your time. <clears throat> Literally, right. you're wasting your time, and and his time. Literally. So, it's we're removing the lurks, um, and we're 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 gonna keep the chatters because we are about networking and, and about making connections. But sure. Yeah. And I I, I think yeah. that's. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. On top of that, and on top of that, we're gonna push forward other forms of being able to earn points. Um, Two of those things we've done recently was like starting your stream on time, right? Like building good habits. For streamers I saw something about that. To, I think it was on your to, intro page or something. Yeah. 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 So building good habits for streamers and, and starting your stream on time. And then one of the things we haven't talked about before, but one of the things we plan on integrating is social media. So like mm. you posted twice on social media today, you know, you could be engaging your audiences on all the different platforms. So. We want to like guide our journey, uh, our, our streamers along like a, a good path of growing their stream uh, through the like, different things they can do to better themselves. You know, which uh, I I honestly, <clears throat> um, uh, you know, people have their own opinions about the system, but uh, something like uh, removing the lurkers, which by the way is probably a big step towards obviously complying with whatever Twitch has come out with, which my own opinion is ridiculous, but. Um, that that's a big step in that direction. I think that, uh, in my opinion, that may go towards sort of um, building faith with the community and all that kind of stuff. Although that's not the overall goal, of course. But I'm just saying that that um, that helps, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't uh, see. Definitely... Go ahead. I, I don't see many points of, like, if we get rid of lurking, I don't see many points of criticism that people could kind of bring onto us. Um, it could remove a lot of problems because then you just have a networking, like a, a strictly networking community. And we gamify streaming. Like, how how are you going to demonize us now? I mean, people will find the way, of course. Sure. But sure. And and like... and <clears throat> also, I I want to be clear. Sort of in fairness to you guys, I I'm I'm not, and I I know other people are, but the choir can be loud. Like, you shouldn't have to change necessarily oh. your values or your system because. Um, some people are upset about it. I just want to make that clear. No, 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 like it's it, yeah, it's yeah, great yeah. if you're changing because the system is adapting and evolving, and you're trying to do something different. Always. That's perfect. Uh, Always. And, and, and that's, that's what it that's sounds why like. That's why I said it's been six six months that we've talked about this. Honestly, yeah. it's it's for me like reducing it made sense. Um, like we we I, the only thing that we did that was not planned in the sense like planned ahead is kind of like going from four to zero today basically is Riker and I we talked and we saw the Twitch thing and we like we don't know if it's gonna fuck with sorry for that can I say it afterwards? yeah that's fine here I don't know we don't know if Twitch will fuck with us or it's gonna fuck with our members yeah uh, we don't want to take the chance we we would have anyways remove like re reduced it to two and then one and then to, to, to zero at some point maybe in the month mm -hmm. you know 
uh, but we decided to do it today because it because of Twitch and because we care about our members and we want our members to f know and feel that we are there for them and we listen to them and we're gonna do everything to protect them. Right. Uh, and and that's what we're, what we're about. Which uh, so and I'm not and, gonna jeopardize our members. That's for sure. Right. And and I sort of resonate with that part because I think that. Um, I think some hate got out of control in the last day or so, and and that might have brought um, some harsh criticism and maybe some um, unneeded heat on just on just members. Whereas you know maybe the hate's misplaced, maybe they're mad at the system, maybe they're you know specifically mad at you guys or or whatever it might be. But uh, yeah, I, I, in sort of what you're saying, we're trying to protect our members. Like I think it's unfair for the members of Royale streamers to have to. You know we're hiding in the shadows now because the mob is mad. I don't like that. That that's that's yeah. not okay. There there is a feel of like some of our members feeling like they can't scream on top of their lungs at their royal member because of the rep repercussion of it, which is to which, me it's which is sad. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's it's honestly sad because it, it is. It's I think uh, we're a great community, and and I think I think they feel strongly when people bash our community because of the connections they made throughout our community and that's what that's what i hear the most is like i made so many great connections and i yeah. hear that from every member that that i talk to and and, and to, to, to be told that it's you know fake and you know artificial and all this stuff like yeah. it, just, it just it just hurts our members sometimes to hear that i feel because it's like i'm not artificial and i made some great friends and i talk <laughs> right. off stream yeah. and I, we spend hours just chatting and I mean, maybe some of the some of our members have like their best friends uh, as they, they, they found their best friends at, at in Royale. And I know I found some one of my best friend, this guy here. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mashkatis, honestly, that's why you're pointing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, what <laughs> like, that way, the I, other way, <laughs> this, this way, no, yeah. this way. I don't know. But it, it's Raker. I mean, for me, it's he, he became like a brother to me. I mean, we and we found each other in Royale. Like I, I got invited by. Uh, Ezra Lyon, who I found randomly uh, playing mm. uh, Call of Duty, and he invited me to Royale, and I joined, and I, I met with this guy, and he, I was, I didn't, I couldn't read this guy at first thing. Uh, the first <laughs> time I talked to him, I, I was like, what did he think of me? Because I was, I was applying to help with the marketing, right? I didn't know him, and um, we ended up being really, really great friends. And you know, uh, whatever happens with Royale, I know um, I'm gonna keep keep in touch with this guy that's for sure sure uh so and, and there's many other um examples of that so people they, they, they don't like to hear that and they take it personally and i understand that it's just, yeah it's just sad that they, they're, they're put on their spotlight be like you're this you're that or because you're royale that's that's completely stupid right and and uh, i'm not going to exclude myself from that i have thought about that in the past i've i've, I've thought that same way uh and and but i i sort of have grown in a different direction and sort of understood it differently uh, since then, since forever ago, whenever that was, but, um, you know, Monday or something, <laughs> uh, like, but, but yeah, it's, it's unfair to sort of, I mean, you guys can hear it now. It's a community thing or whatever, whatever you think about the mechanism of it or whatever you have a personal opinion about gamified, uh, point systems is fine. But to tell people that, oh, it's all just fake and those aren't real friends, I, I, I think is absurd because then you have to say the same thing to literally every other streamer community in the exact same way. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. Like, as I said, uh, we're getting rid of lurking, so everyone can put their foot, uh, pitchforks down. It's not gonna happen overnight, dude. <laughs> the um, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, I, I was gonna ask this b before the uh, sort of announcement about lurking. And and by the way, if you're responding to the chat, I I, I don't like I, I don't look at that. Uh, um, no, but um, if twitch uh like are you afraid in some way that twitch could one day go you know what uh rail streamers it's not okay we'll we'll they'll ban the bot from chat so first of all uh when i made the community a year ago uh, mm -hmm. i foresaw what happened this week coming sure. obviously like it was uh, like I, it, it was an eventual well uh, i mean it's happened things. like five times um, before with different types of services like that I I don't think they'll ever be like no more royal streamers. Like what what are we doing wrong? Uh, if if like if we're getting rid of lurking, what could they possibly be mad about? Like I'm really trying to drive yeah. this point home because there's nothing left to complain about really. No more lurking. Okay, fine. 
That's fine. We don't even like it anyways. It's gone. Yeah. So what's next? We, we, what, what Not allowed to do? chat. <laughs> chat to yeah. viewer streams anymore. Well, that's that. That would, that, that would be just dumb. Frankly. You can only emote. Like, yeah. They're trying to yeah. they're trying to push engagement on their own on their own platform. So you're welcome. Uh, they have their own engage. They have their own own engagement point system in sure. the forms of each streamer's channels that they just pushed. So oh yeah, uh, that's right. The channel loyalty points or whatever it is. Don't yeah, don't come at me, Twitch. And, and we're, we're going like we're working really hard, and we always have to to encourage genuine chatters and right it's just like we're, we're not if it was about fake chatters and and it, there there is and there still will be tomorrow and in the month and, and it's it sucks i think it's wrong uh i think people some people may not get it and some people don't know better and that's fine that's our job to educate it or educate them about it uh, i think if they join the community and because some people come to me I, i've had people come to me and be like on a call because, like I said, my DMs are always open. You can always get get on the call with me anytime. Uh, it's always my pleasure. And like they came to me like, yeah, my friend invited me, and he talked talk, told me about this point system, and I can chat and lurk and get points. I'm like, wait a minute. Let me take 30 minutes of your time and explain to you, you know, what this community is about. And after explaining, you know, their genuine connection, the real like the real people you can meet, and and the real value of being. And not just our community, but any community, really, because there's other communities where it's the same thing. It's like you you want the only, our difference is that we gamified it mm -hmm. and we're building more features on top of it, like the schedule thing and the collaboration tools. And you know, I haven't seen the beyond, schedule, thing. I think. Okay. Yeah, but like we're going beyond. It's but, pretty cool. But, hmm. but but the the at the end of the day, it's it's a community to meet people. And when I talk about this. And. It resonates with them and they, they they get it and they're like dude that's so much more like I, I love it so much more than what my friend told me about the points yeah because that that sounded ingenuine and sure I tried yeah it, the message but, is ah, important yeah yeah and so but but i took 30 minutes i can't take 30 minutes for twenty thousand people be all sure. 80 i'll still be doing <laughs> right. it you know what i'm saying like it's it's that's the thing but how do how do we get people to understand that as they join and that's the real important thing and sadly i'll just be i'll just say it the noise and the bashing that we hear on social media sadly doesn't help with that because it sends the wrong message to people that don't know better don't know us never tried it they heard a bunch of sure false things because we're not about that even though some people have abused they've been banned they've, they've been removed because it's just not what we're about you sure know? and and that that's just that's just it it's it's but um and we're definitely and gonna try to I educate them more. I I I don't disagree with any of that, and I I think that the noise I and, and this is why I was uh, keen on on having you guys on the show was uh, I I think it's important to actually hear the message, even if people don't agree with it, they can actually hear the message outside of being yeah. told through third party what the message is. I think that's an important aspect of it. So you can hear the message, you can hear you know, what these guys are doing and make up your own mind. You don't need someone else to tell you, you know, everything about it or that they're terrible. Don't listen to them. Um, let me, uh, let me touch on something real quick. Hey dude, I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian. I can't be bad. <laughs> That's just a fact. I can't. <laughs> um, what's your favorite NFL football team? Canadian. Oh boy. That's a tricky one. I'm going to say the Patriots. I'm oh, sorry. Get the fuck. Jesus Christ. This interview is over. Yeah. You'll see the Buffalo Bills hat right there. I don't, I, to, to be fair, though, I don't watch football. I don't watch football. So uh, they're very popular here in my, in my, where I live. So that's, that's pretty much the only um, team we cheer on. Let me, I think my team's self evident by being from Boston. It's not even a Jesus choice. Jesus Christ. I got two <laughs> Brady born, fans in this right now. Oh my God. Yeah. I knew I hated you guys. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> So let, let me ask you another question that was sent to me um, before the show started here. Sure. I'm gonna I'll read it word for word, and and we may have answered it already. I'm not totally sure, but I want to read it just to make sure that I do my due diligence on due blah, 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 due diligence. Um, sure. Okay. If it was an authentic community, why were there points and a reward for higher ones instead of the lower folks? I I guess I don't necessarily understand that completely i'm I hoping think, you do but go ahead well i mean the reason that it's tiered at all is because it's not lurk for lurk it's it's 
support the people who are doing the most support. It's kind of like right there in your face when you join the Discord. Um, people who do the most supporting mm-hmm. should receive the most support in turn because they're providing that to other people. To me, that makes perfect sense. And it's kind of what our system was predicated on for about nine months. Like, I mean, all the way up until today, sure. it's still the case. Uh, it's kind of shifting over to like, um, let's, let's like kind of put the people who, who do the best things for their own streams on a pedestal, uh, as things are shifting more towards right. doing things that are the best interest of your stream. But, uh, I mean, there, I don't see any other way that a point system would work other than, you know, who's the best, you don't reach grandmaster and overwatch by being, by playing over, you have to be one of the best. You need to, you know, be better than everyone. And in this, you need to support everyone more than everyone else. It's pretty straightforward. What what I yeah. want to add to that is 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 that um, we've also thought about mixing it up with the tier system. It's it's always in the back of our heads. We hmm. don't just want to scratch it to do nothing because the problem is that Twitch does nothing, and that's the reality of it. And they you've talked about it mm-hmm. on your video oh, where yeah. everybody knows it's the higher numbers you get, the higher you get uh, on, on the browse page and. If we don't tear it up, so what's the difference between us and Twitch? You know, and and, and we we try to find a way. Like, I feel like we're being judged on a lot of things, and we're not given the benefit of the doubt that we're trying to help streamers. And that's a, that's the sucky part, I think, from all of this. It's like we nobody owes me anything, or me or Raker or Ryle streamers. But I'm just saying, like, like I just don't like the demonization of it. It's, it's just wrong because if they would know us, they would know like it, we're, we're not about, we're not about taking advantage of anything. And like, that's, that's just, that's just, that's just ludicrous. We're trying to help streamers and the tier system. I think it's not really not perfect. I really, there's a lot of things that we need to work on to get it where we want it to be. And we need to optimize it just like we optimize everything else. And sure. uh, we, ju- we just don't want to be like. Yeah, screw it. Like, let's get rid of it without having anything other to to provide. We're always about value. How can we bring value to streamers? And True. If something yeah. works one day, maybe it won't work six months later, maybe a year later. We need to adjust. We need to adapt, and that's what we're trying to do. So, um, I'm fairly certain there's going to be some changes in the tier system at some point. Uh, we just need to figure it out. How how can we make it better? Because I'm sure we can. And and I I think that's uh, perfectly acceptable. I mean, all systems evolve uh, based on demand and and, and environment. Um, yeah. The the second part of this question, there, so, there's oh sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I don't want to interrupt, but chat's talking about a particular topic that I want to mention after this. It's about data. Uh, so, but I can ask you a second part of your question. Okay. First, <laughs> yeah, I know. They you should know better. You send that to the DMs, or I'm not gonna look at it. <laughs> um, Got to repeat. So uh, the second part is. And I'll read it word for word again. Also, if it was authentic, why were there people rating with 100 plus people and the only person talking was the streamer who rated and the rest was lurking? Yeah. I've kind of covered uh, I, I, that already. I can answer that. I, but I think maybe. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, actually, rating is uh, being removed um, oh, okay. from the point system. Uh, it's something that, frankly, is um, all, in all transparency and uh, was supposed to be removed uh, coming back from TwitchCon. Um, we've worked on other things, um, including the website, quite a bit. We kind of forgot about it. But mm. we, we talked about removing it because it does um, didn't work, honestly. And and yes, there was, yes, there was a lot of um, silence when, when it came to the rating, and that just was sad um it, and i wish there was more and there yeah. was there were more when, when when i when i rated myself I, I i had some my chatters were moving to the other stream and i think there's some education to do i think it's depends on the streamer i think it depends on their community sure but yeah, yeah i absolutely agree with that yeah i, th- I think it happened and it and that's why we're removing the lurks hmm. uh it's 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 part of it it's all part of it it's it's just it sends the wrong message it doesn't it's not who what we're about. It's not like we don't. I don't like this. I, I frankly stopped rating. Because I was like, it doesn't make anybody 
feel good. Like it, it, it even makes the right the guy who you raid. <laughs> yeah. Like, am I boring that? Am I that boring? Nobody's talking. You know, like it's, it, it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> work. It didn't work. You know, it was. Yeah. It, it, you know, so we just we removing it, and that's we're removing the lurks. We that uh, I, I'm sorry. I, when you say no, removing no, it was rating was worth points. Is that uh, yeah, worth points? It was system? for a while. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Just a little bit. It okay. Wasn't worth much. And and yeah, uh, no much ironically, that might be. And I, I think, you know, that's probably accurate is like, it's not really helping. No one's chatting. So why do we incentivize it? But also, on the other hand, uh, Twitch has taken a stance on that as well, right? They changed it to, if you raid someone, then they have to stick around for a certain amount of time or they have to take out that stupid referral question mark equals yeah, raid or whatever garbage it, yeah. that they put in at some point. And I have a lot of thoughts yeah. about that. <laughs> but but, but the, reason, the reason why we added rating in the first place yeah. was to uh, make discoverability better. And we had a trickle-down effect where if you were diamond, you had to raid uh, a platinum. If you were platinum, you had okay. to raid a gold. If you were gold, you had to raid a silver. If you were silver, you had to raid a bronze. And what we wanted is to create more visibility for these folks in lower tiers and um, kind of merge communities together and have just make discoverability better that was the initial idea mm -hmm. right it's it's there's nothing other than that we wanted to make it better for streamers to get discovered it didn't quite work the way we wanted to that happens let me um i'm gonna switch gears a little bit i got three questions that i saw sort of in the huge list of back and forth oh wait i'm skipping your thing do you let want to go to your address thing? Yeah. The, go ahead. The, the, go ahead. the pitchfork question yeah and, go ahead and, in chat uh they're talking about storing data hmm. this is also something that mr truck talked about uh we are storing one point of personal data that is it and that is your email uh when you sign up on our website specifically it says one of the things we access is your email and it gets put in our database beyond that there is absolutely no private information being stored so uh not sure what you think is being stored. There is no other source of private. What other private information do we have access to? I, uh, I, I frankly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about what people are saying in chat, man. Um, like data collection and selling. And I, I see a lot of, really they, they know how to stuff. submit a question. They know how yes. to submit a question. If they actually want to submit a question, they can do that in yes. DM. It, but that's just we, also, we, we talked can't... about it earlier like we've never sold any data and we never will yeah. and that's not what what we're about and we can't anyways even if we were evil people wanted to sell data we we can't it's it's twitch data that we would be selling mm -hmm. and they would sue us to the ground that's amazon we're talking about <laughs> they, we, we, would, yeah. we, we would literally be selling amazon you guys data. don't have a stable of lawyers <laughs> no we definitely yeah. don't. Somehow I mean, we, we don't. Yeah, weird. <laughs> we would be on the street. I'll yeah. tell you that. I guarantee you that we would be on the street. I, I, I would be. I would be doing the stream with my phone if I still have money to have a phone and data. <laughs> We're not scraping any information either. Uh, no. I don't. I don't really know. I don't think that people understand what the term scraping means. That's when you load up a web page and like pull the data out. That's just not how it works. Twitch provides this data through their APIs because they want other systems to integrate with theirs because it brings value to their platform. So, so yeah, I'm not so, sure where that idea is coming from. That's yeah, kind of an interesting no point. Like, um, like if you are upset about whatever you consider data scraping, are you upset at the bot that utilizes it? Are you upset at the API that provides it? Like if that's your definition, if it's completely allowed via mechanisms on the platform, um, something like Facebook, I mean, Facebook does that shit all the time, right? When you sign up for Facebook, you agree to all this shit. Um, yeah. Is that, like, at what point do we have personal responsibility come in? And uh, it's a much longer conversation, probably. Um, I mean, I'm not even sure if... I mean, if you're mad that... Tw I don't even... I don't think that applies. Honestly, I don't think it applies. Um, oh, we're we're like, using Twitch's API. It's Twitch's yeah, data. That's it. Yeah. It's, there's, there's um, no, there's if you have a there problem with that... Yeah. yeah, that goes to Twitch, and yeah. it's not it's not personal data. And as I said, the only personal data is the one that you authorize when you sign up for our website. It's just your email, so that way, like we have a unique identifier for each like person. That's it. It makes it easier. Like, that's to how you log, log in. in. That's, that's so it. like any website, like so, OAuth. Yeah. 
What's it? We're not the only person who who has email no. login on a website. No, we're literally Somehow. every site in the world. It sounds pretty novel to me. I don't think it's ever been done. Um, let me <laughs> uh, ask you a question, sort of in that same vein about data scraping. Um, there was, and, and I think uh, my my friend Truck has 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 said this is probably how they did it. But there was a point in this video when he was like, "How did they change my name in Discord? How did they know who I was?" Um, mm. Do you have a comment about that? Uh, that one was kind of funny because uh, I actually didn't even change his name, and also Arson didn't change his name. It was just like a moderator, I think, who saw his his stream, uh, and after someone linked me to his stream, like, "Hey, this guy's you know talking about Royale." Uh, I think it was just a moderator being smart, okay. and they changed his name. Not smart, but you know, like kind of a smart ass. Smart um, ass yeah. I didn't go to see which one did it. But we don't allow like that. Two. Yeah. There's only two people who did who who could have done it, and it's not a big deal. Um, it's our system's not installed on your computer and can tell it where you're going and all this crap. Like it, uh, I have the understanding that that Mr. Uh, Truck has a, a technical like knowledge, and with that, he would understand that that's not possible. <clears throat> like I I uh, yeah. yeah I I don't n want to get too caught up on like you know what necessarily what trucks out i know i just brought that up by saying that exact instance or or trucks you know position or whatever um mm -hmm. because i'm not about like bashing people on the show or anything like that no, um sure. and, uh, we, we, we said it earlier yeah we don't track uh your messages on social media or discord or no, we don't track ridiculous. any of that and sure. if we wanted to do that, frankly, it would cost us not five hundred dollars a month around the bot. It would cost us thousands of dollars a month <laughs> because the database required to do this would be tremendous. Um, but we don't want to do that. We have I don't think even think we can do that, frankly. But like there's there's no the only thing we like we did was to track who joined other communities that were in a community because of some pouching that happened mm. twice. Uh, people that copycat uh, some copycats that copied literally some our system and some literally like phrases from our like discord channels uh for the rules and stuff like that and they came in and they pouched like mass a massive amount of members and we just wanted to be aware if that was going to happen again and that didn't so we're just removing the, the channel altogether frankly we, we, we don't yeah we, don't, we never watch it it's don't fine. Care. This is the uh, and we we touched on this at the very beginning of the show. This is the uh, the competitors channel or or whatever it was, yeah, yeah. right? The screenshot. Mm -hmm. side. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will uh, get to this in one minute. Um, let me ask you a, a, another question, which was brought up by a, a friend of mine a, a while ago. There was a bunch of people who received a mass invite to uh, yeah, I can't remember if it was Royale streamers at that time or maybe the previous naming or whatever it was, but they're like, oh, how could they have um, sent me a mass invite? How would they get this information? Yeah. Uh, do you have a comment on that? Yeah, I think that one's kind of up my my alley. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> we didn't have a Twitch team for a while, and we we got one set up because uh, it's not easy to get one. Mm. <clears throat> so once we once we had one, like at this point, I think our Discord was probably around fifteen thousand members. I don't know, something around that. Um, and we're trying to backfill to kind of like invite all those people to our team. Sure. And unfortunately, uh, somehow I'm not a perfect programmer and I had made an error and I think it invited probably upwards of much more than 20,000 people. It was probably more like 50. <laughs> oh, it kind of just kept going. Yeah. Um, I committed a cardinal sin of uh, running a program and walking away from it to go to bed. And I woke up in the morning and uh, Xavier was like, what happened? And I was like, I don't know what. And apparently everyone got an invite. So Yep, that wasn't good. Um, yeah, that that that's basically we apologize for that heat. sense. Yeah, and that's yeah, what, that's what started this the, the the Twitch kittens thing back then. Yeah, basically. I think I was in Twitch kittens at that time. I think I remember that. I I don't yeah, think yeah. I personally received an invite, but I remember seeing like a bunch of people posting on it. I, I don't even know how the distinction was made, but I I'm pretty sure I didn't receive one. Yeah, yep. and yeah, we apologize for this, and we have actually apologized to Twitch Kittens directly to Modest Merrill and Kyle Jeet. Uh, yep. We met him at Pax West. Um, I've, you know, this whole story was kind of like still up in the air in this in in a way when you know it died off, but we I felt some still like kind of bad energy between Twitch Kittens and Royale, and we're not about that. We don't. I, I didn't like that, so I, I messaged Kyle Jeet, uh, and and. I, I, th I imagined it would be at PAX West and, and they were and um, and we sat down 
uh, and we had a good, really good talk. There was also Sam Hall from Streamlabs at the table. Hmm. And uh, we had a really good talk, and it was very constructive. And since then, we've been exchanging emails with Modest Merrill, and um, it's been it's been a very very positive experience to actually talk with these guys. Uh, at, uh, initially, it was a little bit uh, how do you say animated? Is, yeah. that, is that a word? That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it um, it went well, and I'm glad we did it. I'm glad I I I, <clears throat> I asked them to to to, to meet up. And I think yeah, that's important. Mistakes were made, but yeah, I, I think that's important is like, you know, Twitter can be such a weird place and Twitch can be such a weird place where people uh, can act like children sometimes. And I think it's important to like, Hey, let's be adults and sit down like adults and actually, t you know, hash out an actual conversation or something. The, um, I remember that I think it was around that time. There was something like, uh, uh, modest maybe, or Twitch kittens or whatever account it was on posted something like, Hey, don't listen to this community. They're trying to do something. And then you guys post something. And there's a screenshot and it was a back and forth thing. Was that around the same time? And then yeah. this PAX West thing sort of like, I don't want to say smoothed it over or whatever, because I'm not trying to insinuate what happened with your conversation, but it kind of mm -hmm. got like, Hey, this is what happened and let's just move on from it type of thing. Um, well, what happened is that we, uh, they posted something that was, was targeting, um, our, clients twitch they were talking about advertisers they were talking they were saying you know um some false facts um about us and uh -huh. um we felt it was uh libeling at the time so we did send a cease and desist to them sure uh, because we we thought it was libeling and um it stopped um and we um we didn't talk much after that um it, it's frankly then I just I just wanted to meet with them and actually yeah. get get to the bottom of this because throughout this whole experience we never really sat down we never really talked um, and then whenever we did it was kind of like not in the good not in, not, yeah not the best it's way, it's so shitty about communities on Twitch right like there might not be a direct animosity but everyone's always competing and it's fucking terrible sometimes so I I completely understand that kind of well and, and to to. To, not to to like go too much into details about the conversation because sure. it was like an hour if not more yeah no recite it all get your notes <laughs> but, <laughs> but but <laughs> I, I couldn't even my memory is too <laughs> trash but uh but but i i i could tell you that you know it ended up kind of like in the place where they wanted to be helpful and we wanted to they like, keep the com communication going to um work together in a way so to, um, yeah, hmm. I, that's, that's, that's what I can say. You know, um, they, I think they understood where we're, we're coming from, um, that we were not like the devil and sure. wanted to, you know, cause they, they did have some reservations about the same things that are talked today. Um, and, and, and with them and that's back in March, right? Yeah. Uh, PAX West uh, end of March. Um, we were already discussing, you know, uh, removing the lurks and, um, you know, uh, the perception of the, the community. And um, so, yeah, so we, we, we've we talked specifically uh, more with Modest Merrill about that. And, and, and it was a very uh, fictitious conversation. Yeah. I, th I think is a good way to put it. And, yeah, that um, makes sense. Yeah, Modest is definitely the, uh, you know, de facto leader of Twitch Kittens. That would make sense to you. About it. But I mean, it's great to hear that communities can kind of come together and sort of move past that type of shit, which is hopefully what we're doing yeah. here a little bit too. Like getting, you know, there's not uh, demons under the covers type of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so let me touch on a little bit the move away from lurking and sort of Twitch's um <clears throat> behavior towards partnership. Um, this is something that we've talked about a lot of times on this show. I have very strong feelings about it. I'm not going to lead any kind of thought about it. But in the community, um, Royale streamers can be accused and has been accused of being a shortcut to partnership. Um, yeah. That's that's not necessarily unfair, but it is. I don't think it's uh, demonic to say shortcut. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. Um, mm. What is your yeah. sort of thought on on how people would perceive the community as being? As, you're skipping all the hard work. You're you're not making real connections. And I know what your answer to that is going to be, but I would like to hear your sort of voice on it. 
No, I'm not sure you're you know what I'm gonna say. I'm ready. Um surprise me. <laughs> I, I, I think it I think um we never intended to be that. I don't I don't think it's right that people got um partners because they were in Royale. Um mm. I think it's Twitch job to do their due diligence. I don't think they look only at the num the, the CCV, the concurrent viewers. Um I don't think um I don't think we, we should we should have never been a way for people to get partnered. We never wanted to. Uh, we've said it publicly several times. Yeah. And we've actually polled our members about it, uh, saying how they felt about the website. Because the website, when we were, we've talked about the website for a long time already. And we we initially wanted to push the website as a means to um, get our members to discover other members. Uh, we shut that down because of Twitch, because of the timing with Twitch. But that was the initial idea. But we also knew that, you know, doing so, well, basically, the lurks would become embedded views. And we know how uh, Twitch feels yeah. about embedded views Didn't when you... Uh, yeah. So if you apply for partner. Sure. Uh, we polled our members and a vast majority actually said they don't care about that. Uh, I would mm. say if I'm, my memory is correct, I'd say over 80%, uh, if not over 90%. It was very, very high. I was actually surprised about the, by, by this. Hmm. And, um, but I, I know we help people get partners. Good for them. Uh, it's, it was never our intention though. We have, why, why would like, you know, the, I, I think that being a Twitch partner anyways, like if you get it too easy, it's bad for you. And I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say yeah. that it's like, you need to build right. your community over time and right. it could be depressing for people to be like, oh, I got my check mark. That doesn't change much. Does it? No. Like, yeah. No, because. Right. You know, it's 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 not like oh you become a famous a famous streamer. And, <laughs> I'm Doctor you know, Disrespect. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. For, for real. It's a check mark. It doesn't. It's just, honestly like people hype it up a lot, but yeah, it, there's a lot of very small like partners, mm -hmm. Royale or not. You know, like it's it's just it's just the way it is. And I think that to become a partner, you need to have something unique, a unique approach. You need to have a great community of people that follow you. Sure. It's not, it's it, honestly, it shouldn't be about CCV at all, in my opinion. If you ask me, if I was Twitch CEO, I would be like, fuck CCVs. Yeah. Like, that's, that's not how you, like, I would look at people that have, yeah, sh sure, like good numbers because you don't necessarily want to, like, look at every single Twitch stream, but like, CCV is not everything. You have people with low CCV with a lot of, support from their community and great and talent yeah high... great great yeah. Talent. yeah and and talent too yeah that's that's one thing you know when we talk about the premiere program sure. our own partnership which we changed recently um but like we looked beyond that we looked at we evaluated the quality of the streams and the uniqueness and really like not not so much at the numbers and the you know the followers and, and all that stuff so for me it's like it's frankly it's it kind of sucks that Twitch is looking at CCV altogether. It's, it, it, I don't think it's, it's, it's a good number to look at for partnership. I would be lying if I said I disagreed with you. <laughs> I've had, I think, like months long talks about CCV. I prom promoted a, a, a very uh, disliked idea about partnership review <laughs> last month or so. Um, yeah. Let me, um, do you, uh, so I, people have become partner through your service. Do you, um well are you using royale like a, yeah yeah i'm sorry i didn't mean to imply anything nefarious about no, no, that. No. but um uh do, are they still members of royale streamers they still participate in the community are they still are you still involved with their um sort of day-to-day -day stream type stuff yeah I mean, I, I, honestly Just before seen, you go into this yeah uh, i gotta run out of the bathroom pretty badly so <laughs> i'll let you answer that <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it um We've seen different things from our members. Uh, we've seen people that, and I think it's not just a Royale thing. I think it's just a, a partner thing on Twitch where it's some people's end goal, it seems. Sure. It's like they're, yeah. they're going for this and once they get it, it's like, okay, what's next? I got it. I, I've been, you know, working. It's a big problem. Yeah. We've seen people kind of stop streaming. Yeah, after getting it, honestly, I've seen I've seen quite a few of them. Uh, I've heard the same was... thing from many uh, partners we've had on this show, basically saying like, "Hey, a lot of my friends got partnered, and then within three months they stopped streaming <laughs> because they realized it's not like, oh, here's my money, here's my oh, Corvette, no. you know, it's not that." It's 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 so hard to be a streamer. Like that's that's why we're trying to help them because yeah. it's it's a struggle. It's I, I'm I'm a streamer myself, and it's frankly, like some days I'm like, dude, 
why am I even doing this? Honestly, like I, it, it's draining, it's tiring, it's demanding, it's did I say demanding already? Anyways, <laughs> it's 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 just it's just very hard, and it's yeah. a grind, and it takes a while to get to 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 get somewhere, and there's no guarantees. You can be streaming for four years, five years, and you still not partnered. You still have, you know, low numbers of followers. And you you question yourself constantly. You're like, what am I doing wrong? What am I, what what should I do differently? What what game should I play? What there's so many variables, and, and it's 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 very difficult. So it's like the the check marks is that's it's not changing anything. If anything, it puts more pressure on you, mm -hmm. honestly, you know. And and yeah, <clears throat> so so we've seen people um, stop streaming and sure. and. If not the other partners, I'm not. I'm not aware of other partners leaving. Uh, they just stuck around. Like yeah. they just stuck around and they they kept participating. I, I know a lot of partners that are have continued to participate um, and be. Um, yeah, I figured like uh, as you active members as you sort of come through the the program or the community. I mean, as you said earlier, you meet some genuine friendships and stuff. That it's like this was a part of my streaming career. Why would I leave this system? You know. I, I I didn't I didn't see the I'm gonna stop supporting and I'm gonna keep doing my thing. I've seen more like I'm gonna stop streaming. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna keep supporting. I guess that's that's what I've seen. That, that's right. Like too like I'm 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 probably gonna miss a few examples. I'm sure that exists, but sure. mostly that's that's what I got. Can you uh, describe? And I, I have two questions here in the DM, uh, in the DMs, and I'll get to those in just a minute. Can you describe yep. a little bit what the Premier Program is? I think we've mentioned it a couple times. I am lost and have no idea what that is. Can you just describe like what that system is? Yeah, the the Premier Program actually is is not existent right now. Um, oh, okay. It's been <laughs> removed a few weeks ago. But but what it was is is basically a um, our partner group. Are you know so members would at, would apply and we would get uh, unbiased um, reviewers I guess hmm. uh, and we would look at the stream the quality of the, the stream the uniqueness and uh, we would um, accept or deny them uh, and it's been it's been a mess honestly because it, it's you know the the members we've got we're very happy about um, and and they're they're very high quality but a lot of people felt like rejected from not getting in the premier program right and that sucked and i mean i'm talking about thousands of people um and 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 that was a little bit uh sketchy way of doing things so we're mixing it up uh we're actually uh we opened an affiliate and partner program hmm. words the names could, could change but it's actually automated um and 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 basically what, what it what it does is that uh our, our way of seeing like the way we see it is that um and open the door for different sponsorships, um, opportunities. So if a client yeah. wants to get, uh, you know, a certain type of individuals with a certain type of followers, minimum followers, for example, or things like that, sure. um, certain quality, maybe certain, um, you know, d d different different aspects of it, we can um, help them find the right people. So it's just a tool to basically again try to match sponsors with streamers the best possible we we can to bring sure. value to to our streamers. And and honestly, we've talked about that on this show before. Is that that's an important part of streaming that's sort of missing. And I've heard a lot about that speaking to publishers and game developers at different conferences. Is that yeah. it comes down to not being able to pick out the right people. They just know all they know is CCV. So how else do they tell? And it's yeah. like um, so it's important to to be able to say like oh you are promoting a horror game. I have these five people that are great at streaming horror games. These other people aren't so great. So you might want to pick from these, you know, regardless of what the CCB exactly. might be. So yeah, sure, that's sure. that's what I call the stream broker. <laughs> so, yeah, you, and and you talked a lot about, you asked me like, how do I sell? Yeah. Um, to, you know, previously. And mm -hmm. one thing we talked about a lot of micro-influencers, you know, small streamers. Um, right. And I think there's there's more and more interest in, in micro-influencers compared to huge streamers who frankly sure tremendous I mean, it amount of cost money a million and, dollars yeah yeah and it's it, it, it's so um we think there's value in there um to because frankly like a lot of small streamers they don't get much money from it 
and sure. you know money is not everything you shouldn't do it for the money yeah because if you're doing it for the money you're in the wrong business but <laughs> yeah. still like no but still like you know like when you're being paid less than what if you get paid if you worked at mcdonald's or something it kind of sucks because like yeah you're you're doing some entertainment here and it's like if we can help our members get more value whether it's a game whether it's a sponsorship um it's extra money in their pockets and it's it's extra it's money that they don't have to spend to get a, a, a game and it, it's just we give them um as much as possible and and, sure. and and knowing who to give to based on the client is there's a lot of value in that i think and for both, all, all parties involved i agree um l let me ask you a question based on something that someone sent me here mm -hmm. Um, maybe it's a few questions. Sure. Uh, okay. I told you I have all night. Okay. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna read it word for word. Uh, they bring up poaching. Does that imply they have some sort of ownership over their members or no. view them as theirs? No, it's, 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 it's simple mm -hmm. as, uh, communities of actually people have copied us, um, copied our system, mm -hmm. literally. Uh, copy the rules, copy the like, copy pasta, some of our text on our Discord, literally, and came in and poached our members. So we just, we 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 didn't do nothing about it. We just wanted to be aware of it, so we know these guys exist. That's all. It's sure. simply like you know. What we ended up doing was was reaching out to their leadership and saying like, "Can yeah. you stop doing this?" Like it's it's kind yeah. of annoying. Yeah, it's um. kind of sucks. It's, <laughs> it's kind of like not something we would do, or that something that. You know, even the Twitch invite thing, even though it's a mistake, like we're not even poaching them in their community. Like it's not, there's no link to Discord or anything like that. Like we just mm. like deny it. We wouldn't, we would never go into like Twitch kittens and yeah. like go into people DMs and be like, join Royal Streamers. It's much better. That's just, that just sucks, man. Like do your thing. You want to copy us? Copy us. We have no copyright. You know, like yeah. we, we don't, we don't like, you know, we, it's not against the law, but yeah, it's, and, it's, 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 and on top move. of that, yeah, on top of that, they were like adamantly against us and what we we're doing and kind of spreading a bad message. So it was, a, it was a very bad mixture of of poaching and kind of, you know, bad mouthing us. So Understood. Uh, I definitely didn't appreciate that. Yeah. Um, the second part of this, <clears throat> and this may be more of a personal thing, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Um, they say they're open to discussion, yet in the past, Xavier, and I realize that maybe I've been misspelling your name from reading here now, is Xavier specifically, when discussing with a dissenting view, implied that the person was an alcoholic. Could they comment I, on that? Will future discussions be met with personal attacks? I'm, that's word for word. Dude, that says. I, can, can you refresh my memory on this? <laughs> I, I can't. I, 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 I have no idea what I you're talking know. about. Ray Raker told me about this uh, <clears throat> earlier because he, I think he heard it from you or something. I don't know. It's, it's, I, can you tell me more about this so I can remember it? Um, I will wait maybe for another message to come in, but I don't. Uh, that's literally what the message said. So <laughs> there's no way for so, you to expand that. But, but I would have, I, I said to someone they were an alcoholic. Impl implied that the person was an alcoholic could they comment on that is what it said word for word so i guess i can't comment because yeah. i don't know what <laughs> okay. uh, imply saying someone was <clears throat> drunk it's possible that I, it, it rings a bell that I've, i could have said something like are you drunk or something like yeah. that uh i don't think that it, that implies that, he's, that that person is an alcoholic though. right I'm saying so if someone's drunk i'm i was drunk last night dude I had some friends over. <gasps> Get out of here. Get off the <laughs> but, stream. <laughs> um, but you know, like, I, but if you have more information, I'd I'd love to answer it because okay. I'm if if that person was hurt in any way, shape, or form, and felt like I was saying they were an alcoholic, I apologize. That was never my intent. I, I know I never said you're an alcoholic because how would I know, right? But it's uh, and I wouldn't say that um, at all. Let me. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is a question, but I want to read it. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I was in Royale, and this is not me talking. I'm reading the message. I was in Royale for a few months. The way the point system was back then, they had people at the top that were rewarded the most staying up for days at a time to chat with people and farm points to get to the top. 
Also, the thing about the raid was BS. They didn't give points for raids for a long time now, but the raids had so many fake viewers or lurkers. I seen raids at 200 plus all the time. No one was chatting. They're beating around the bush. I, I'm sorry. I'm going to step in uh, real quick before you guys get to it. I feel like the second part was answered on that. To be honest, sure, but a also I'm, yeah. I'll, I'll let you make on this sense. one because I, I don't I'm not understanding what's being said honestly. Yeah, it didn't that didn't make a ton of sense. I, um, I, I think it I has mean, to do with hollow raids, which I think we talked about, and also yeah, right. people at the top the part, being rewarded the most points, and then they're able to stay on top. And maybe that's a mechanism of the system. No, no, we do a reset every two weeks, so that doesn't really work that way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, nobody on top. Like, we don't want this. We don't want people to stay on top. Sure. Um, do you guys do like a point decay thing, like uh, DKP or whatever it was, or EPGP and WoW or something like that? No, it's just we just do a division by certain number and bring bring all the numbers down so that they're you know someone new in the community can catch up. Yeah, I got you. Um, okay, so I think I'm out of total questions, but I want to move into a little, just a, a quick, maybe uh, one or two things about Twitch in general. Um, something on this show we talk a lot about is the current environment of Twitch and how, um, so one of the ways that Royale streamers has been seen in the past as being unhealthy is that it's a shortcut. And we talked about that earlier, but it's an un unhealthy mindset that comes from because people are thinking that partnership is only the goal. And I think a lot of new streamers come in saying like, Hey, I saw a ninja or not anymore, or I saw a Tifu or whoever it is saying they're a partner and they're living the life and living a streamer house and they're famous and they make a lot of money. I want to be that person. I must have to get partner Royale streamers provides a shortcut. I'm going to go there. What? Mm -hmm. um, and, and this is by the way, not my opinion. This is what maybe the general person thinks like sure. Twitch has many times shifted um their guidelines or their rules and what they count as viewership based on uh people gaming the system right so uh they removed embeds at one point they then removed raids at another point that you couldn't uh, raid train into people they weren't gonna uh, and that's why a lot of by the way if you're applying for partner and you get something back saying like hey you have too many raids that's why um mm -hmm. they implemented that raid referral whatever crap onto the raid scene they, uh, they changed the lurking for a time where it had to be active lurks. Now they say it's like a handful of lurks. There's probably like three more things I'm forgetting. But they've been continuously trying to uh, uh, like dig up the weeds on a problem that I have talked about previously as being their own problem. And I'm, I'm wondering uh, your thoughts on that. I agree. I think I touched it earlier as well. Like I think they are... It's a flawed system. They should spend more time on partners. They should investigate more what they do. Um, I think they should look at the quality, the talent, um, the potential as well. Uh, because a lot of people get frustrated and guess what? They're going to move away from Twitch. And it's going to happen. Like There's there's big players in there. Microsoft's not messing around. Um, right. You know... I think caffeine just got bought by Fox, which AKA Disney. I mean, you don't know these guys, but there's a lot of money involved. And like they, I, I think they, their system is flawed. And, and the fact that, like I said, people got partnered because they were in Royale or, or as a Royale member, that shouldn't have happened. Honestly. That yeah. shouldn't have happened at all. I'm, I'm not happy with it. I'm not, I'm not like, hey, we got some people partnered. No, it's the the good for them. I'm I'm happy for them. I know some of them. Yeah, I've I've, I've talked to some. I, I'm happy for them. I just don't think we should have been part of the decision. You know, I think it's Twitch's decision. It's it's their job to like. I I mean I know for a fact that yeah they look at CCV but they look at a lot of other of other things sure yeah at, there's like, a ton like, of stuff and, on the back end and all that yeah. stuff they look at yeah sure um so. yeah I don't know I I've, I've had uh and and I totally agree uh, by the way that the the system is 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 not what they uh what they what, uh, you know it's, they need to they need to clean their own house before they go trying to and I equated it on Monday to continuously patching holes in a sinking ship 
when they should just like replace the hull and there will be no more issues like that. Um, I like that analogy, by the way. Oh, thank you. I I went through like six analogies like that on Monday. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So I want to bring up another thing. I just got a a message in. I think someone must have put it on Twitter. Um, Let me try and make sense of it because I don't tell it and I can't like screen share. The um, so someone posted a message on Twitter uh, that looks like a screenshot of Discord, and it's like um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to decipher it. So it's it's an accounting of members lost to other competitors, and um, uh, tracking member counts, public message. I'm just reading down a bullet list: member counts, public messaging activity, new member joining counts, member leaving accounts specifically who joins and leaves. So I, I guess maybe the question to this is um, that uh, the, the sort of the question we asked earlier about how, so the bot is is not really invasive in other uh, communities. Uh, and I, I think the, that- The bot's on our server specifically. Okay. Um, okay, let me pull this up. So- I'm trying to make sense of it a, real quick. No, well, that's okay. I can help you. Uh, there's a Google Doc in there. It has a couple entries in it that's probably debug. Obviously, this is a very long time ago. I don't remember, but uh, there's like 11 entries in there. Uh, oh, I think I see it. Everything, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the data in there is just what I was talking about. The same thing was in that original screenshot of how that system worked. Of yeah. You know, when someone came and left, so we could detect you know uh, mass exoduses of, of members to places to see sure. what's going on. Um, and then you know all the other details that I said in there are kind of in line with with that like poaching detector. Uh, but so it says member count, yep, public message. So public messaging activity, that's for our Discord, not for other people's. Um, anyone who is a developer in here would know okay. that yeah, it's not it. possible through the permissions that are requested by our website. That's, it's simply not the case. Um, we, treat, we, keep, we keep track of the amount of messages every day in our Discord to determine like activity kind of. Sure, I mean, that to, would be a useful metric, it sounds like, but yeah. It's very, it's very useful. Yeah. Um, helps us like what day is the most popular day to put in announcements in the discord. Well, we should mm-hmm. probably do the day when most people are chatting. Sure. Like that. The, um, and, in in this, in, in, and by the way, I know we discussed this a little bit earlier. I think this sort of, uh, dovetails with the conversation about labeling other communities as competitors, which, um, you guys have said is going away. There's no use for that at this point. I think I, I'm pretty sure you guys said that maybe. Word. Yeah. Okay. It, honestly, honestly, man, we have we have never had any issues with our members being on another uh, teams. No. Like, it, it, and we know a lot of them are in many teams. I know personally, like some, I, I my main mod on my stream has his own team, his own community. I don't care. Good for him. Yeah. Like, I, we have no problem with our members. We're not like, oh, you, you can't leave Royale. It's only Royale. That's actually yeah. something other communities, which I will not name, have done in the past. Not us. <laughs> other communities have done that. Other other communities have done. I've said, if you join Royale, you're no more here. But we've never, ever done this. Yeah. Period. As I said, that'd be a really poor decision on our part because people don't like that. Like that would piss yeah. off a lot of people. Yeah, as seen by when Twitch, ki- oh shit, <laughs> when another community did it, it was very like people did not like that and it had a very negative effect on. It. So yeah, I, and I really, I honestly, I did not mean to mention, them, but that's fine. Everyone knows, so whatever. I mean, I would, I would mention them, so it's no big deal. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, it, that's yeah, fair. The um, never so did this, ever. I, so yeah, I, I guess the message that I'm getting, and I'm sorry if. Uh, uh, I'm, I know there's a couple of people sending me a message right now. I'm sorry if I'm not conveying the message appropriately, but I, I feel like I'm reading it right, and I think these guys have seen the picture of it. Um, the I, so, so I think the big concern is uh, the question on whether or not uh, there's bots in other servers that are watching members uh, come and go in all these what you would call competing uh, servers. J- just to be completely clear, um, you guys said earlier there's no bots in other servers, and we're not doing that. I don't, I couldn't even do it if I wanted to. I don't have, like, you know how, like, if you're invited a Discord bot to your server, you know how that, like, works? Yeah. Where it gives you, like, the invite? It's the same. I'd have to send Modest Merrill an invite. And he'd have to be like, yeah, sure. It's not going to do that. Um, it's, okay. It just doesn't work that way. As you can see on our website, it gives us permission to see what Discords you're in. Sure. And that's the information that it works with. It doesn't say, 
what Discord is in and all the info, all, all the messages that are going on in that people in it, uh, and also their social security number. No, it just doesn't have that. Um, right. It's just not the way it works. Ask any Discord dev and they'll tell you. Yeah, I and I don't disagree. And 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 from what you guys said earlier, it sounded like that's impossible. These uh, screenshots may be um, accurate, and that may be of how the system used to be, and then maybe it was of use, and now it sounds like that's not something that we do anymore, and it's irrelevant. Um, okay, uh, Jesus Christ, I, you guys have been—I uh, gotta say—you guys have been really great on the show. Um, Thank you. And I'm not necessarily closing down any conversation. Um, I think Big that, time. in my opinion, I think that a lot of uh, chat about the community that you guys have formed and are running, um, I think that maybe some of it was was misleading or misinformed, or maybe it was just a lack of communication, which I would bet was most of the case. A lot of times, people will get an idea of something or hear something, and they assume the worst and then, um, you know, maybe get an opportunity to hear from, as I said in the kind of tweet, like the horse's mouth is is, is key here. Um, yeah, I, b I believe so. I, I think that that's the one problem with social media these days is we take whatever someone's saying as a fact. And I think we need to, it's not just our case, like for us, it's for any, anything, like give give the other person uh, a chance to, to explain, to say, sure. you no, know, maybe like sometimes some stuff is true from what is being said, but why someone's doing it is is maybe not understood mm. or not explained you know like it, it, there's intricacies in what people do in life and what people do in communities or anything really sure um i think it's um you know for i know some people hate her guts for some reason and that's fine <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with this yeah uh, no I'm, one's I'm, gonna have everyone like them that's impossible no exactly <laughs> yeah. and i'm not looking for that exactly i'm yeah. not looking for this um what i'm hoping is that the open-minded people well just listen that's all and 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 frankly like other than that honestly it just was fun to be here <laughs> for me it was is i love doing this and it was um it, it was uh, honestly really great to get to hear like what the system's about because as you said like the the only thing i knew about um your community was what i read on the intro page and the first thing you guys said was like oh that's outdated we're not doing that <laughs> it's like it's good to actually get to hear like what the working system is and 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 um you know i i i would be remiss if i didn't mention the source of all this so uh, some conversation got started because a friend of mine trouble truck posted something and and i i want to be clear that like in his video and in a lot of the chat, he he definitely said that like this is what I've heard, not what I know is fact. Now, it, it, you know how that's interpreted is sort of up to the listener and up to the viewer. Um, but um, I I hope that maybe some of the people that are watching the show or will watch this vod uh, tomorrow whenever they do it can maybe get some uh, more clarity on some of the stuff that was presented then and um, and sort of make your up your own decision. I mean. Uh, you know, Royal Streamers could be for you. It could not be for you. Not every, but not every community is for everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not everyone likes Twitch kittens. Not everyone likes um, uh, Lurk Force. Is that still? Is that a community? And then um, sure. um, the bar is the community I started. Not everybody likes any of these communities. So it's like, you know, you sort of make up your own mind based on the information you're given. And I hope that maybe some of the information that you guys presented, and I have uh, six pages of notes since we started talking. I'm so happy about that. Um, for me has been super enlightening and I hope it has been as well for anyone that is watching this show or will watch it later. Yeah, absolutely. And if I may, uh, we, uh, we, we watched trouble trucks video and, um, we intend to do a, um, response video, um, Raker and I on this. Uh, so we, we would just want to clarify some things. You, you seem to <clears throat> at the end of the video say, you know, I'd love to he hear, uh, Raker and, and Xavier about this. Sure. So we will. Yeah, and that would be great. And I would really love if, um, you know, I, I don't think you guys are going to go that route. But if it was really like, hey, these are just facts and there's no animosity or anything like that. Because the streamer community can be super volatile and everyone can f immediately murder each other for any reason. You know, like, uh, oh, you like ranch on your chicken wings? Get the F out of here. You're dead to me. You know, something like that. Um, just, to, you know, it's all like everyone's in the same community. Everyone's trying to do the same type of stuff, presenting information in different Absolutely. ways. Um, absolutely for, for for me it's it's I, I i don't like animosity i i don't like negativity at yeah. all um I, I i really someone that thinks that just by talking by having a good conversation we even though we don't agree we don't have to agree 
Right. You just have to respect each other exactly. and understand each other. Try to be empathetic and try to be, you know, understanding where the other person's coming from and, and their goal and be open minded for me. It's it's really something that I try to do. Um I'm we're definitely not gonna be um we're not mad about trouble truck. We just wanna clarify a few things, you know. Sure. We just wanna basically we talk about what we talked tonight, yeah. but put it in the video and, and specifically answer some of the some of the trouble trucks or his sources concerns. Yeah, that's probably a, a good idea since uh, watching this VOD back will be like two hours and you guys could probably answer his questions in like five minutes. <laughs> it's yeah. it's really a, a more easily yeah. digested format. <laughs> uh, I'm a little disappointed on, on the way he chose to go about things. Um, like he blocked me on Twitter and banned me from his chat. And I feel like he really isn't that open to a two-way conversation, uh, which is very unfortunate. And it, that also manifests itself with your tweet about the fact that you were going to be streaming this tonight. Um, he said that don't give them a platform. Like... I, okay, I we don't get to share our side of the story. It's kind of yeah, kind of weird. And it seems like he has an agenda almost, but I I uh, this is close to the, the chest for me, so I try not to get too mad about it. But I understand. It seems odd to me. Yeah, there's a lot of you know sometimes feelings get hurt and you really get uh, you know everybody gets riled up about stuff. And I I think that maybe uh, my tweet earlier uh, trouble truck might have felt like that was disrespectful to him that I was doing this. Um, that's not how I saw it. I hope it is different. I think that you guys uh, maybe. Um, took offense to his video, and I understand that. And, um, you know, I hope that it, that can be sort of, uh, we can wipe the slate clean after all this type of stuff. Not that I'm some kind of weird moderator or anything like that, but like, let's just all, you know, reset. Let's everybody have a beer and, uh, and just, uh, you know, chill out and let's move forward in the community kind of thing. Yeah. Let's, 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 the, everyone make their own. Right. Opinion after there's the plenty of space the for all these communities to exist oh, for yeah. whatever the mode is. I mean, there's some communities that are um, uh, art communities, or some you know, communities that are streamer focused, and some communities that are just chilling out communities. There's all kinds of different communities that are for different streamers, and there's Absolutely. no reason that everyone can't coexist in some kind of way. Agreed. Um, Agreed. thank honestly, thank you guys so much for coming on the show tonight. It, okay. um, not uh, I, I hope it was beneficial for anyone that that might be watching it was super beneficial for me um and i hope you guys had a chance to um, maybe clear up some of the misconceptions that may have been out there about the about the community honestly we were there to answer your questions um we didn't have any scripts or anything like that it's just we we appreciated um you inviting us to absolutely your show and great stream yeah. guys uh Subscribe, follow. No, stop all that. We don't do that. Smash that subscribe. Oh, button. Shut up. We don't do that here. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna. No, no, uh, no, not to me. To you. What do you mean? No, I mean we don't do that here. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. okay. We, we did it. We did it for you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to uh, take a quick break. I'll let you guys go. And thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys thank later. You, um, right. And awesome. uh, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes.